Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. I'm your host, John Letts, and we're using a content-based approach to improve your English proficiency, that is, if you're an intermediate-level English speaker. Now, that can be students of English as a second language or native speakers who just want to ramp up their English to higher skills. Our theme is animals, and today we're making a transition from animals you probably know to wild animals. This is segment two of episode 43. Learning a second language can certainly have its moments of discouragement. There are risks to take and embarrassment when your proficiency falls short of the native speakers or even your own standards. From time to time, we feature those who have survived all these challenges and have done wonderful things with their level of English. I want to introduce to you a friend who has experienced your struggles yet has used English in a high-level profession and hosts programs on television. First, I want to show you something I started carrying around with me. Inside this container is a single aspirin. I started carrying this after viewing a program entitled Art and the Awareness of Happy Health. The host of the program is Dr. Krishna Gokhani. Although English is not his first or even his second language, he hosts this program on health, drawing from his experience in practicing medicine. His guest on a recent one uh, episode was a cardiologist, a heart doctor. I'll tell you how I came to carry this simple tablet after you meet Dr. Gokhani. Dr. Gokhani hosts a TV program entitled Art and the Awareness of Happy Health, sharing his background as a medical doctor. While his language background is from India, the TV program is in English. English is definitely not his first language. Welcome, friends, to the another show of Art and Awareness of Happy Health. My name is Swami Anand Krishna, that is initiated name given by Osho. And uh, I have got a very wonderful person being an doctor also. As my guest today, his name is Brian Morrison. I welcome you, Brian. Thank and you, I Krishna. request you to uh, just introduce yourself the way you would. Viewers in Southern Oregon gain insights into health issues from Dr. Gokhani and his guests. Uh, some of that information could save a life. So his acquired English is performing a vital function. I asked Dr. Gokhani about his language background and how he acquired enough English to produce and host such a program. First four years of primary education, we didn't have to learn English. But from the fifth year, we start from A, B, C, D, you know, and A for apple, B for ball, like this, you know. And then we learn throughout the middle school, high school, but we don't talk in English. I see. You're probably learning the rules of yeah, grammar. Yeah, grammar and everything. We write essays, but very difficult to speak in English for us because that was not a habit. So if you want me to tell you, then when I went to university, because our lectures were in English, so we are exposed to the professors and lecturers uh, to hear in English, understand in English, but still they didn't uh, bother or they didn't force us to speak in English. So we were speaking in our local language, you know. And what was your local language? My local language was Gujarati from the state of Gujarat where our Prime Minister at the moment, Mr. Modi is coming from. So you must have had three languages you were dealing with because it's Hindi, right? That's the national yeah, language. Four, four language we had to, uh, Hindi, Gujarati, English, and Sanskrit. Four languages we had to do it in the middle school and high school. That's four languages when most Americans can only speak one. He shares his dilemma when he had to speak English 
and the experience of not being able to speak his target language as well as the native speakers. Then medical school, we had to speak, answer, but still in conversation we were not. Then very first time when I went to England for my post-graduation, I was in a dilemma to speak. I was knowing how to speak, but you know, your tongue is tied. Yeah. But first 15 days where, when I was in England, it was difficult to converse with the patient, the nurses, though you are a doctor, but you are ashamed that you can't speak the language. But after two weeks, I think freedom of my tongue happened and then I started still, you know, my English may not be as good as you guys or English people or European people, but now I can speak anything and everything and I think in English also. I love the way he says, freedom of the tongue happened. That's a freedom viewers can look forward to, but not without taking risks. So what does that have to do with my carrying an aspirin around with me? Well, I heard his guest, the cardiologist, say that a simple aspirin can save the life of someone having a heart attack. I certainly hope I never need it, but I'll have it for myself, or maybe it will save the life of someone around me. My point is that even though Dr. Gokhani has an accent, and although his English is not the same clarity as a native speaker, his use of English is high enough in proficiency to host a show that could save someone's life. So if your motivation wavers, which is a common occurrence for those on the long, hard road to English proficiency, perhaps saving a life will recharge that motivation. On Ramping Up Your English, we help intermediate level English speakers improve their English, bringing it to higher levels of proficiency. Our aim is not perfection, it's improvement. So if you're ready to ramp up your English to a higher level, you're watching the right program. Ramping up your English mostly supports listening comprehension using the context of an academic unit to provide context for increasing your comprehension of spoken and written English, as well as growth in vocabulary and more complex use of syntax across a wide spectrum of language functions using the appropriate forms of language our current unit thematically is animals and we're going to take some knowledge of farm animals and use it to enter the world of wild animals. We'll begin those steps right after this. Is it true that ramping up your English is going to the dogs? Wendy. Yes, it is. And cats, horses, rabbits, geese, jaguars and more. Join us in our new unit on animals. Ramping up your English is for intermediate English learners from all language backgrounds and all ages. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our new thematic unit is animals. This science unit helps viewers advance in language functions that will stretch their English skills and learn a few things from dogs as well. openness, trust, faithfulness, loyalty, playfulness, and more. The, the, the qualities that we as humans really do need to learn and to have in our lives on a daily basis because they deliver such beautiful rewards. Ramping up your English can be seen on the Ashland Home Network on channels 15 and 115. It's on channel 182 on Charter Cable in the rest of Southern Oregon. Join us for better English and a grand time with animals.